Be sure to subscribe and click on the bell for notifications on future uploads. Hello everyone, someone Bart here, or you can call me Sully. To wrap up Happy Holidays, I present a review of another Rank and Bass special from Warner Brothers for their 100th anniversary. And with it now being the new year 2024, this special is a perfect one as it takes place during the week before the new year and ends on New Year's Day. And my thoughts on it are fine, yet all over the place. Originally aired on ABC on December 10th, 1976, it's Rudolph's shiny new year. <music> Directors Arthur Rankin Jr. and Joe's Bass had made a decent sequel to Rudolph the Windows Reindeer from 1964 with decent characters, a neat story, neat animation, and okay songs. After saving Christmas by guiding Santa's sleigh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is told by Santa Claus, from Father Time, that the baby New Year named Happy is missing, and Rudolph has six days to find Happy so the New Year can start. Rudolph learns from Father Time that Happy actually left due to people laughing at him for having big ears. Yet Rudolph's told that Happy went to the archipelagos of last year, where an old year retires to an island and their time stands still there. So Rudolph travels to the archipelagos to find out that every time Happy visited an island, the folks laugh at his big ears and he leaves, and Rudolph, along with a couple of other old years, try to help search for Happy. All the while, a giant monster bird named Eon the Terrible is also in search of Happy to stop time and live for another Eon. And the special is told from the perspective of Father Time, voiced by Red Skeleton, who also voices Baby Bear. This is one of the few sequels Rankin Bass made for Warner Brothers that's a follow-up to one of their originals Universal now owns, as Rudolph is given a new design that's almost as cute as his first design, and Billy Richards reprises her role in voicing him. But this is also a New Year special, and a fine one too, with there being very little of them, and the Rankin Bass sense of fun and charm is present here. Well, almost. Not to say it's all bad or forgettable, but given how I put it on my list of favorite Rankin Bass Christmas specials, I would have put it lower as I don't have too strong of a feeling for it now, as there's quite a bit happening in the story and the songs, despite being written by Johnny Marks who also did the songs in Rudolph the Rendo's Reindeer and while being okay, aren't as memorable. With maybe it's raining sunshine, turn back a year, the 4th of July parade, and have a happy new year being exceptions. But what I like in it still works. All the side characters have good voices and personalities, like the old years as characters, with 1776, or Sev, being Benjamin Franklin, and his year being nothing but the 4th of July, 1 million BC, or OM, short for 1 million, as a caveman makes sense in a cartoony way, given his island is where dinosaurs live, the year 1023 is not only a long bearded knight, but has characters from fairy tales and nursery rhymes, Father Time's helpers are simple designs with clocks on their bodies, like General Ticker as a soldier, Quarter Past Five as a camel, and Big Ben as a whale. And I like how Papa Bear says that Happy likes eating porridges, indicating that the Bear family doesn't like eating porridges that much. Though I do wonder what happened to Goldilocks here or where she is. The humor is fine enough, as well as a couple of puns. Rudolph has a few moments I found to be cute, and Father Time's song has a unique presentation of how a year grows if it was human. The song Rudolph the Rendo's Reindeer is in the special and is presented in a cute hand-drawn animation with a Santa Claus design that looks more like the one from Twas the Night Before Christmas. And Santa here is the same puppet from the year of found a Santa Claus but is voiced by Paul Frizz which he also did in Frosty the Snowman. And some of the people at the end are the folks of Southtown USA from year of found a Santa Claus and I'm guessing Iggy's mother must have remarried or something. Yeah, it sounds like a mess with how I'm speaking, but I'm just mentioning some Rankin Bass trivia as it felt all over the place here with how familiar I am with the studio and their work. Not to mention it's pretty dated given that Father Time says 19 wonderful at the end, since there's no more similar dates past 1999. Yet overall, this is a neatly fine special for New Year's. 
There's a lot in this given my viewpoint with some cleverness in the story and mostly forgettable songs, but like many of Rankin Bass's Christmas specials, the fun and charm do overshadow the issues even when I notice them too much. As such, I like what it offered and I'm fine with how they're done, even if it's a lot to take in. Two and a half plus, or three Christmas Bugs Bunnies. And that is it for Happy Solar Days. So thank you for joining me, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Facebook or X, support me on Patreon, and join next time for a new video, and have a Happy New Year!